What's going on? Yeah. What's going up? What's going on, guys? Today, we are picking up my new snowmobile. All right, guys. So we have the sled in the garage now, so we can get a. A nicer look at it and I've let it sit in here um, my garage is heated so it's uh, everything has thawed uh, as you can see here this all works now it was just all frozen um, we had a 60 degree day in um, January it was January 10th or January 11th I don't know um, and it was 60 degrees out in New York so that was weird so it rained and today it was 30 something so everything froze but this is unfrozen the throttle it's got like a stuck spot but then it's good um chokes good this all works this this looks aftermarket uh that's not original equipment um the light high beam everything um this is a little frozen up but i suspect that to be because of um this here brake I can't believe they're really well woods, but uh, it just looks all seized up. Like the caliper might be a little locked. Um, I didn't know this was oil injection, but uh, it is. There's the oil in there. Um, so uh, I just pull. It, it has good. If I can get this damn cap on, jeez. Uh, it has good compression, and it's all freed. But I. Uh, Forgot to grab the keys, so I'm going to get those tomorrow, so I can't really check if it uh, is getting spark. I'm assuming that it does. Um, basically, he used to ride this sled just around, but it sat outside for a couple years, which I don't think uh, it's... You can probably tell that. Um, so he rode it around. It was a guy who used to have it that took really good care of it and everything, so I have a good feeling that everything should be good. It might need a new belt. Um... But what I'm going to do now is move this kind of towards the, the middle more and uh, I'm going to use that guy and clean this thing up because it hasn't been washed in a long time. So I just want to get all this crap off of it and uh, clean it up so when I work on it, it's not a complete disaster. So uh, let's move it over and start power washing. Right, guys so just with a quick simple wash i know it's still wet the seat this seat's completely shot i'm just gonna have to either find a replacement seat or uh run it as is and not care which is probably the option but uh, i know it's wet but look at how much better this thing looks it's uh this thing is gonna shine up really nice when i'm done detailing it but i mean this thing is really in good shape aside from the seat i'm very very happy with how it turned out um, I mean, look at these graphics. I mean, they're still in really, really good shape. There's really not even a, any pieces missing. There's a little spot here. That's no big deal. Um, on the hood here, the clear is starting to get kind of weird, but it is what it is. Um, it's an old sled. So now I'm going to dry this thing off and uh, just going to make it look pretty because, like I said, I don't have the keys. So, I can't really do much of anything at the moment, uh, running-wise. I know I could probably take some things apart, but um, I'm going to get this thing looking pretty decent first. So, uh, like I said, it's nice to work on. Uh, yeah, because as you see here, I, we got a lot of snow. A lot of snow. So, uh, let's keep working on this thing. All right, guys, so I'm going to be using uh, this product here. It's in a spray bottle, and it's uh, uh, this stuff dropping everything it's this stuff detailer special all you got to do it's nice this is mostly black so i'm going to spray the whole thing in it but i'm just going to mist the whole thing in this even the windshield skis everything especially this like black plastic part That'll really look nice. Everything. Coat the whole thing in this. 
And what this is going to do is really restore all the black. I'm even going to do it on the seat because screw it. Uh, I doubt I'm going to keep the seat, but if I'm going to do all this, might as well make it look nice. Am I right? That's meant. I'm just going to probably paint that black. Not really care. So now this thing is fully coated in this. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and then wipe it all down. Because, uh, yeah, there's a lot on there. I sprayed a lot. But what this is going to do is really get this thing shiny and almost look like it's wet. All right, so I did a little uh, mod here, you know, this Project Source mod. And look at that. From here, oh, you could really tell. Well, I painted this and in there because, uh, you know, why not? I just really saturated it because I know it's going to come back. But... This shit is terrible. It's basically like spraying water. Um, but, you know, really coating it, saturating it in that foam so it doesn't look as bad. Obviously, it will come back. It's a temporary fix. Um, I don't recommend you doing this, but I just went ahead and did it because it looks uh, about 100 times better. I can't really fix that. And for the time being, with that seat, it's going to have to do. So I still got this stuff just kind of sitting on there i'm gonna go ahead look at that look at how like shiny that looks with the light obviously i gotta wipe it down yet but do i even oh, oh, oh look how shiny so uh wipe that off and then i'm gonna apply a spray wax to the hood um, because why not so guys something i thought that would look pretty cool is where it says arcticat on the back you see i already started i want to do that in purple um, because it matches all the uh, like all this purple accent here, so I thought, huh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna paint the the back part purple. So because I'm absolutely over the top and ridiculous for no reason, let's go ahead and paint this. So uh, yeah, let's start the time. I think I like it. It looks kind of cool. It looks like it should be there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat, but I'll do that off camera because it's probably extremely boring to watch me paint um, that. So now that that's uh, drying, I'm going to move on to spray waxing this. I wiped this down. You can see it's shiny and all that. I've got a majority of the leaves and stuff out of these vents. They're kind of a pain. I still haven't done anything under the hood. That I'm just going to vacuum and use the air. But uh, yeah, that looks good. Oh, another thing I was going to do, because these are all kind of scratched up, I think I'm going to get to just do the same thing with this, except not use that cap. I'm going to use this one, which is conveniently here. I'm going to spray black paint in here and then just uh, brush touch all there. To, I know it's going to probably come back, but I, I don't know. I just, I just want to do it. And I think I'm going to do it here, too, on the spots there where it needs it, so it uh, looks better. But this time, I'm going to use a different paint, and I'm also, when I use this paint, I'm going to uh, let it gum up a little bit, let it sit a little while before I start kind of brushing it on, because that was too watery, and every time I'd kind of do it, it would uh, be all annoying. So, I'd say that's a little bit of a success, but uh, now on to the other stuff. So with this side, I got a little lazy. I just grabbed the rattle can and painted it, and it looks fine. This side, I used the brush. I still got to, I might just go over with the spray and just get it all, because all this, I don't feel like dealing with it. Um, yeah, it turned out pretty damn good. Happy with that, I still got to do this, but um, that'll probably wait. And I think I'm happy with the hood. I think that turned out pretty good. Didn't really show that, but it can only get so good, and I think that's as good as we're gonna get it. 
But uh, I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. Um, again, still got to paint that again, but I'll do that off camera. Don't feel like boring you. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, for more on this, uh, the next video will be 100% engine work. I know this was probably a pointless upload to a lot of people, but uh, I wanted to clean this thing up and really show it off because I think it looks pretty good. And uh, it, it just it's crazy how you could take something that looks like it's completely shot and make it look like new again. Well, sort of new again. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more on this on that, which you probably saw some of. I know some of you guys are antsy about uh, the YFC project. Sorry that's taking so long. I kind of uh, tried something different by recording everything at once and then trying to piece together videos. Um, I don't recommend. It's not, uh, not good. But I'll give you guys a sneak peek if you made it this far. She's over there, those are not the wheels. But uh, it's a little, little teaser shot. So for more, Subscribe, like this video, give it a comment, and I'll see you next video.